Guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 28, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here in the US, another train derailment, this time in California. Guys, let me show you this video really quick. Check this one out. So you have a lot of people stranded. Jeez. A lot of people stranded. And so information is coming out right now. Um, I pray that uh, everybody's doing okay. What are they marking an X? Um, what is that? Hold on, what was that? Give me a second here, guys. We got more information. So, passengers stranded after Amtrak train derailed after a collision with a truck. <sighs> wow. All right, guys, happening in California right now. All right, so before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me Luis Santiago at 3432 US Highway 19 number 2 Holiday Florida 34691 All right let's see what's going on in this one here but uh, give me a second let me just pause really quick on that part Hmm So passenger stranded after Amtrak train derails after a collision with a truck in Moore Park, California. Now I do have an article, but let me just read some of these comments really quick here, guys. Someone said it's a uh, domestic tea. Hmm. I never seen so many train development in my life. I agree 100%. This here got to be, I don't know, guys. I lost track, but this here got to be the 50 so far. Uh, this is going to hit the history book, uh, the most train development in Sleeping Giant history. This goes to tell you that we literally need to fix our infrastructure, right? Fix our uh, tracks. Not only that, the potholes, the bridges, the pipes, uh, all this needs to be fixed. But we got a person in a spotlight that is giving all our you-know-what to Crane. I mean, what's the point of fighting for the yellow and blue? I mean, what do we gain out of it? The Sleeping Giant, we are hurting. Uh, again, we are hurting right now. Uh, we are seeing all these uh, events happening and no one is doing anything about it. No one is talking. Even Mr. Burns, again, for those of you that don't know who Mr. Burns is, he is the leader of the Sleeping Giant. He hasn't come out and said anything about uh, this trending uh, train derailment. Truly apologize about some of these uh, comments, guys. Again, sometimes people don't take stuff serious. Amtrak train partially derails after crashing into water truck in Southern California. All right, so once again, this happened in Moore Park, California. An Amtrak train has partially derailed after it crashed into a water truck on the tracks in Moore Park, California. Officials say there were nine that were impacted. Again, pray for, uh, for those people that were impacted, guys. 
Uh, eight passengers and a driver of the water truck have been taken to the hospital due to, you know what, eight of the people have minor injuries and there is one patient with moderate injuries. So you have this county, county fire department have responded to the scene. Now air slash HD, uh, excuse me, air seven HD capture the train that officials say has had all eight train cars derailed at some level. Now the train was traveling westbound and filled with passengers at the time at the crash. This thing would have gotten really, really a lot worse guys, but it didn't. Uh, I seen the pictures. And it seems like it's not that bad, but uh, I mean, we're talking about a lot of people in this train. I mean, this thing would have gotten a lot ugly, but uh, thank God it wasn't that bad. Uh, again, like I said, guys, the picture in the video I just showed you, it seems like it's not too many train developments going on. But uh, yeah, this this is a sad story. And uh, it, again, it goes to tell you where we at right now as the most supposedly the most powerful land in the world, we have seen the, the crumbling collapsing of it. Uh, so this is not supposed to be the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant that I know uh, is strong, powerful, uh, showing again, uh, strength. This sleeping giant here, this is a sad sleeping giant. This is a sleeping giant that is slowly dying of C-A-N-C-E-R. Uh, all right, so it says here the train was traveling westbound and filled with passenger at the time at the event. There were more than 200 on the train where it crashed. Officials were checking the passengers and helping them travel from the scene. It appears that the tracks themselves have been damaged due to the collision as well. Amtrak released this statement on the crash. On June 28, 2023, Amtrak train 14 was traveling from Los Angeles to Seattle at approximately 11.15 a.m. Pacific time when it struck a water truck obstructing the tracks at Moore Park, California. There were approximately 198 passengers and 13 crew on board who were evacuated from the train with no reports of serious injuries. The train derailed as a result of the impact, but remained upright. Amtrak is working with customers to make alternate travel arrangement. Amtrak in condition, excuse me guys, coordination, excuse me, with local authorities is conducting a full investigation. You know, ever since we left that door open at the southern area, it's like all of a sudden we've been seeing so many things happening. And you guys already know I've been making tons of videos uh, of, uh, you know, supposedly, not supposedly, but uh, there's videos and information that they found PVC pipes, PVC pipes with black powders in there uh, somewhere on a train track. I don't know what state it was, but they found it. And then they found another one that was in the young ones park next to a swing. I mean, come on. And then you guys already know they found a vehicle, right? I, I think this one happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They found a vehicle and they have uh, devices in there. It was in a mechanic shop. The mechanic uh, is like, I'm not touching that car. And they called 911. There was a whole bunch of device in there. And the person that owned the car, uh, the police uh, went to his house and they found more devices. The man has been uh, under arrest for that. But uh, it just goes to tell you that this is where we at as a sleeping giant land. We're not supposed to be in this spot. All right, let me take it back on Twitter and see if we can find any more information. Give me one second here, guys. Um, if you can, please share the video. Oh, by the way, I got information coming out. Uh, the video is going to be next. Notification will not be sent out. You got to, it's going to be over in my other channel, the real GS news. Uh, the bear leader, Mr. Vlad was heading towards, uh, his private plane and he shook hand with, uh, one of the military. Uh, there's always a the military right next to the plane. Same thing with the U S I got military like saluting and, uh, you see the president going in the plane. So, uh, the same thing, uh, was happening to the bear leader. 
and a bad leader, I, I guess he salute the soldier and he sh uh, shook the soldier's hand and then he went inside the plane. But this soldier was holding a briefcase and he had the briefcase of the nuclear uh, codes. So I'm like, that is some serious stuff there. So uh, he got the nuclear codes briefcase and he goes inside with the bear leader in that plane. So that video is going to be next. Again, they're not going to send out a notification. Uh, it's going to be at the real GS news, guys. So uh, again, you guys already know I got another channel. All right. So it seems like there's not much information, but uh, yeah, this is all the info about the train derailment. The good thing is, uh, it wasn't a huge catastrophic event. I mean, we're talking about 200 plus people in there. They say only nine were impacted. Uh, there's no death, uh, again. Uh, just pray for those who are injured. Once again, this happened in Southern California. I will keep you updated on this story. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And again, make sure you follow me on my other channel, The Real GS News. The links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough times. Till next time later. Peace.